The energy in what they call the hole is palpable these days. And construction workers like Brian Lyons, who's worked nowhere else since 9-11, When are they going to port us? Uh, Wednesday. Tomorrow. Can see the goal they've held aloft these years finally coming into view. I was completely committed to stay here at Ground Zero until this place was completely rebuilt. Lyons has a special motivation. His 32-year-old firefighter brother Michael perished in this place of heroism and death, a site Lyons has come to every working day since that day. I've been in the hole. I have 10 pairs of boots worn out. Over the years, evaporating completion dates and flyaway cost projections have caused many to wonder why so important a project as this one seems so stuck. But to Trade Center manager Alan Reese, who almost died himself that day, We've definitely turned a corner here. Just on this seventh anniversary, the project feels unstuck. Every spot on the site has active construction going on it now. You can see the Freedom Tower poking above street level now, the foundations for the other towers, the path train running through the beginnings of a new transportation hub, the facing of the memorial and museum now taking shape. There's nothing in our plan that says you can't do this. It's, this isn't buildable. Which is exactly what Brian Lyons says he's believed all along. This reconstruction of the World Trade Center and Ground Zero is a tribute to my brother, all the people that were lost at 9-11, all of New York City, and all of America. And it needs to get done. And it needs to get done. No guarantees on when and at what cost the billboards will have to be replaced again. But the hole is being filled. You can see it. You can feel it. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York.